Hello students, let's have a discussion regarding a very interesting and outstanding topic of plant physiology that is called as respiration in plants. So, in respiration in plants, we have understood a concept that is common to all organismic group as per NCRT that the pathway is called as glycolysis. So, we are here to take a preview of glycolysis in which you can clearly understand the concept behind that universal pathway. Okay, students, let's have that. So, the point is, we are talking about a concept called glycolysis, which can also be called as EMP pathway, which can also be called as EMP pathway. The glycolysis that is clearly understood as word like glycose that is sugar in Greek language the term glycose stands for sugar and lysis stands for breakdown or to split thus we can calculate the word in summation way that is called as glycolysis can be clearly understood as concept of sugar breakdown or sugar splitting in all living organisms. As I have already told you that it is universal pathway, it is universal pathway common to all organism. May it be aerobic, anaerobic, unicellular, multicellular and the most importantly this organism may be auto or heterotrophic you will find this pathway in all the organisms. So that is why we call this as universal pathway this present in all the organisms. If we are talking about the discovery we can clearly know that this was discovered by a group of scientists called Embden as per NCRT, Gustav Embden. Second is Mayer Hoff and the third is called as Jacoparnas, so it is Paranus. As I have written the name in short form, it is to signify that the first alphabet of all these three names that is EMP are taken and it is collectively named as EMP pathway. Okay students? So EMP pathway is a mnemonic where you can understand that it is based on the names given by their propounders or discoverer. They are discoverer of this pathway. If you see, you can understand the clearly concept. This process is in NCRT it is mentioned like this that glucose is the source of primary food as primary substrate in all the organisms. So, glucose is broken partial oxidation it has been mentioned as partial oxidation and that partial oxidation leads to formation of two molecules of pyruvic acid. Two molecules of pyruvic acid, 3 carbon each, which breaks a 6 carbon aldose that is called as uh, glucose. This glucose is obtained from breakdown of starch as in plant, the stored carbohydrate is starch or it may be synthesized by photosynthesis, it may be synthesized by photosynthesis photosynthesis ka uh, the end product of photosynthesis can be easily called as sucrose if i talk about photosynthesis you can understood the concept that the end product of photosynthesis is called as sucrose and sucrose is a disaccharide which can be broken into by the enzyme invertase it can broken into two uh, monosaccharides one is called as glucose and another one is called as fructose so see this pathway if you wish to see you can easily understand the concept. 
as I have already told you that this glucose, if you see that this glucose can be obtained in plants from two sources. First is from starch and second is from photosynthesis we can obtain sucrose and that sucrose can produce glucose by enzyme in vertase. You may see that enzyme that is called as invertase. With the help of this enzyme, you can get glucose. This glucose is broken in these pathways and can produce two molecules of pyruvate. If you wish to see, you can find it clear answer for this question. Step number one to five. These step number one to five can collectively called as glucose activation phase and step number six to ten can be called as energy production phase. We may see this. If you see here that you may find it as glucose activation phase and here if you see energy production phase, this glucose activation and energy production phases are here because you spent energy here and here, first and third step where you can say that these are called as priming reactions. What are these named as? Priming reactions and this too is called as priming reaction but where the step number 7 and 10 where energy gets produced they are called as substrate level phosphorylation in short they are called as SLPs. Okay students there are two places that is 1 and 3 where priming takes place and there are two places 7 and 10 where we can call that SLP takes place. There is one very special step that is called step number 6 where two redox equivalent from each molecule of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate removed and produces NADH plus H plus or NADH2 you can call it as. So if there are two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate there can be four redox equivalents removed and they can produce two molecule of NADH. Okay, that's all for the uh, whole reaction. We can elaborate it further, but the thing is, you can first understood the concept. Okay, take care.